All right, buddy. So it's come to my attention that I forgot to make a review for Death on the Nile last night when I went to go watch it. And I had just recently watched Murder on the Orient Express and I thought it was fine, it was good. Eh. Spoiler alert for Murder on the Orient Express. The reveal of everyone being the killer was clever. I agree, I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's ever been done. <laughs> but it's also very underwhelming because like the whole movie, you're trying to pin down who the killer is and when you do that, it's like, you can't be wrong. But this one, Death on the Nile, it's more of my cup of tea, where, you know, not literally everyone on the boat was a killer. This is gonna be spoiler free. What I thought about Death on the Nile was I thought it was very much superior to Murder on the Earth Express. I think it spends a lot more time with the characters, but the characters are also still very vague, which I enjoy. It's a weird feeling. It's like, I feel like I know these characters more than I knew the ones in the other movie, but he's still like barely in it and vague enough to where it's like, I feel like I don't know you enough to judge you though. You got Yali Godot in it, Army Hammer, um, Letitia Wright, Russell Brand, um, the actor who plays the detective who came back, he's great. I gotta say, like, I think Russell Brand was my favorite part of the movie. Just because, like, I've never known him in anything but comedies. I'm sure he's in something else, but I've never seen him do anything. And I didn't know that was him until, like, a couple weeks before the movie came out. Like, I'd seen the trailer a million times. And we were talking about how, like, some of the actors in this movie have gotten into some trouble recently, obviously. And someone brought up Russell Brand, and I was like, Russell Brand's in it? And they're like, yeah, he's got the glasses and the beard. And I was like, what? He's just, like, unrecognizable without, like, the long hair and, like, I don't know. I don't know if predictable's the word. I don't know. But, like, I feel like if I'm saying, oh, it wasn't predictable, I'm making myself sound like, oh, yeah, but I figured it out. And I didn't know. Um who it was but I don't really know if it was like that predictable or if I just like I've kind of been watching a lot of murder mystery things lately so I don't know if I just caught on to something earlier but I did figure out who the bad person was that doesn't take away from the big mystery to me even though I was pretty dang sure who it was the whole movie everyone's still sketchy enough to where it's like oh it might be them though and murder mysteries are just super fun to me. So like, if you're into murder mysteries at all, I recommend go seeing this. And if you like the murder on the Orient Express, I recommend you watch this one because this one's better, in my opinion. And when it comes to sequels, I don't know if it's gonna get a third one or not. They don't hint at anything that I know of. I'm sure there's tons of other books they can draw from, but if they decide to make a third one, I will definitely go see it. That's pretty much all I have to say about the movie. If there's something specific you want to know about, let me know. And I'll comment it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.